This is not what I was expecting. That's the top jaw over there and you can see the teeth are pointing down. And then I've got a really large lower jaw. This is like that's the size of the jaw. That's huge. Just look at all those teeth. <laughs> Let me just zoom in. Those are some decent sized teeth. And it's it's kind of finishing up down there. That's a big fish. That's so much bigger than I thought. It's so lucky that the head was going this way. Could have been going the other way. I mean, the head could have been going that way and we would have missed all the teeth and everything. That's really, really cool. Well, that was quite a surprise having such a big skull in there. I didn't think uh, when I saw that bit of bone sticking out of the mud that would have such a, a big skull with all those teeth. <laughs> I think it's something like a barracuda or a gem fish, but I'm not sure yet. We'd have to do a bit more research. The next step is I'm going to try and take it out of that sediment and flip it over to see what's going on on the other side. That's going to be real risky because it's a very fragile fossil. You can see it's not in rock, it's actually just in mud. And luckily there's a gap at the CT scanner tomorrow, so I'm going to take it in and Leighton's going to scan it for us. And that should give us a better picture of what's going on underneath there. And then once we have that, let's take it out there, flip it over and see what's going on on the other side. Can't wait to do that, that should be in the next few days. Stay safe, I'll see you on the next hunt. Mm -hmm.